edition, the Indy 500 falls on Memorial Day weekend. The race usually grabs the headlines, but each year many people in our area work to make certain we don't lose sight of the message and meaning of Memorial Day. The American Legion 500 Festival Memorial Service is tomorrow at the Indiana War Memorial. I've been deeply honored to host our live coverage of it for many years. Our Alexis Rogers will do the honors this year. The service will include music from the Capital City Chorus, the 38th Infantry Division Band from the Indiana National Guard. The ceremony also includes a wreath placing and several more moments honoring those who've lost their lives in service to the country. Joseph Stewart is part of a Gold Star family. Bob Bryant's a familiar face leading the 500 Festival. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's start with your role. For viewers who don't immediately know, a, a Blue Star banner on a home means a son, a daughter, a father, a, a mother is away in service that changes to a gold star and the family has lost something will you share your story with us that is correct and I'm actually a blue star father my son is currently serving the United States Marine Corps um, I'm the son of Lieutenant Colonel John Franklin Stewart he is one of uh, Indiana's 51 still missing in action from the Vietnam War um, my dad had a long military service. He was a graduate of Arsenal Technical High School, uh, class of 1951. Uh, and then he attended Purdue University in 52. And then after that, he decided to join the Navy um, from 52 to uh, 57. Mm -hmm. And immediately after that, he went to Officer Candidate School and joined the United States Air Force and began his uh, flying career. And he became an aircraft commander of the B-52. And uh, during uh, Linebacker II, which set forth uh, peace treaty contracts for Vietnam to bring home all of our POWs, uh, he was shot down over North Vietnam. And missing to this day. And he's still missing to this day. I, I sense both pride and pain as you tell the story. Uh, tell us what Memorial Day means to you, means to your family. What Memorial Day means to me and my family is, uh, is a way of reflecting of you know, those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for the freedoms that we enjoy today. And we use the term so much, uh, freedom is not free. But it's, that's that time to thank all those and just uh, dishonor the men and women who did the service and defense of our country and gave that ultimate sacrifice. Bob, as you listen to him, that, that's, that's always been the message of the 500 festivals. Uh, participation and organization of this. 500's in the name and the race is something everybody enjoys, but you won't let folks remember this as Memorial Day weekend. That's correct, yeah. I, you know, we, we do a lot of fun events and activities throughout the month of May. We're leading up to the greatest spectacle in racing, but we are a nonprofit community organization with a long history of really supporting the military and supporting what Memorial Day is all about. Uh, so, for, so for us, that, that um, American Legion 500 Festival Memorial Service is an important time for us to help all of the community come together, and in particular, working closely with Gold Star families in Indiana. Uh, the pandemic has thrown so many curveballs at everybody. The 2020 version of this happened, but it was very different. We're a little closer to normal this year. Uh, what can and can people not yet do with the service? Well, it's, for this year, it is in person, so we, we're, a, we're able to do our traditional uh, memorial service, but it is not open to the public, um, and that's where you guys come in because people can view that here on Wish TV. Uh, but, but it's an invitation-only service, but we're going to be able to serve those Gold Star families um, and some other dignitaries and have that really commemorative moment uh, that they can come together and, and honor their loved ones. There are the ways uh, that you'll be able to view. Again, live as it happens, we're streaming it on wishtv.com or through our Facebook page. It's from noon to one. If you miss that, that's fine. The full broadcast will air here on Wish TV, Monday at 10 o'clock, the actual Memorial Day. Gentlemen, thanks for being with us. Busy weekend ahead for you. Understand you'll be involved in the ceremony as well, and we, uh, we hope that it, uh, it brings to you some of the comfort that I know that uh, families across Indiana uh, would wish for you. Uh, we look forward to the, the Memorial Day service. Uh, thank you so much. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely so. It is uh, 8.40.